Hi guys, welcome to SQL TV. This time it's another episode of um, a Real Talk. This time we talk about certification. So the past few weeks and uh, past uh, two months actually, I was preparing myself for the MCSE, uh, the new one from SQL 2016, and therefore I had a little bit uh, studying to do uh, beside my work. So sorry for not creating that much of content, but um, actually it's a good time to talk about to you about uh, Microsoft certifications on SQL Server, since actually there's a little bit of confusion every time a new uh, certification. Uh, method or path is released and this was this happened with SQL 2016. So first of all let's clarify there are two basically levels you can get um, to certificate on Microsoft SQL Server product. The first one is called the MCSA which stands for Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate and the second one is the MCSE stands for Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert. Okay so those are the two levels you can get. So at the very moment we are talking about, this is the uh, 14th of November then 2016 to be very precise, um, you have uh, basically two possibilities because there are the 2012 versions of certification still online and you have the possibility to certify in the 2016 uh, path of the thing. So there are there is one MCSE, let's have a look at, the, at this image here and as you can see here we have one MCSA SQL Server 2012-2014 which basically means this is the old one that's the one I made also it consists of the three exams 461, 462 and 463 querying, micro, querying administering and implementing a data warehouse with Microsoft SQL Server 2012-2014 those are three exams if you pass all of the exams you get the MCSA SQL Server 20. 12, 2014. If you did not uh, make any uh, exam before, then uh, one of the 461, 462 or 463 is also uh, enough to get you the MCP title, which is a Microsoft Certified Professional, which I didn't mention here because it's not related to SQL Server. It's just a general um, yeah, reward that you uh, manage to do an uh, exam on Microsoft uh, certification um, thing. So this is the old MCSA path. Then you have also, as you can see in the picture, you have three new uh, possibilities. You have three new MCSAs actually. And you see they only need, each of them needs only two um, exams. You see we have 761, 762, 764 and so on and so forth um, and you can gain MCSA SQL 2016 database dev, database admin or BI development. Actually, um, just a quick word to this, it's actually a very good idea. I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't really know how to put it in the past but I think now I, I have a good feeling about this because to be honest I, I made the 461, 462, 463 which included the database administering stuff and you are uh, very uh, rarely if you are not a consultant, you um, you are developer and admin and you build the data warehouse and you build the cubes and 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 if you have to do this um, your company may be small or you are very overloaded I guess. So um, in, in practice and your job most likely you are focused on one topic. Of course it's not bad to know the other thing also it's not bad to know the administering part but to be honest uh, if you just want to get a certification to show I'm a good developer, it is it can be very hindering if you like have to prove that you're also good good database admin, which you don't want to be in the first place. So with those exams, let's let's look back at the sheet. Um, it's actually possible for me to, for instance, to go full database dev, uh, doing only query data with Transact SQL and developing databases and omit da administering it and provisioning databases or if I don't do data warehouses or I don't have to know how to implement the SQL data warehouse. So you can uh, get with those um, three passes in MCSA 2016 in your uh, specialty and with all of that then let's advance um, to the MCSE uh, exams. So there are at this very moment but still until 2017 still the uh, old versions of MCSE online. So you have in the old versions, not on the, on the, on the sheet I showed you, but there is a SQL Server 20, uh, 20, no, it's just called SQL Server uh, 
business intelligence, MCSE business intelligence, and the MCSE for I think it was called database um, uh, something. I I I, blend, I I show it to you. I forgot it just right now. So those are two MCSE titles you can still get, but uh, Microsoft said they will omit it in the mid of 2017. You can't uh, you can't gain those titles again. They needed two more exams each to gain this title. Um, so let's look back at the sheet and the new possibilities. The new possibility is uh, very simple because we have only one MCSA. It's called data management and analysis. And analytics, so, sorry. So this one you can get by doing one of those exams you can see in the box below. So you have to take only one of those 473 to 467 you see all of this um, and then you get the MCSE like I did for instance I did the 464 developing Microsoft SQL to, uh, server databases so I get the MCSE now and it's it so this MCSE talking about uh, how long last uh, such a certification well the MCSA for, um, does last forever since it has the uh, version title of the product in its name that is 2012 or 2016 it, it lasts forever it's just valid for 2012 and 2016 so everybody can see that. Um, with the MCSE it was different the old ones lasted for three years and you had to recertify with one exam every three years okay but since you can't recertify uh, from 2017 on it is not really interesting for you maybe but um, they will expire so if you get the old ones in 2017 they will expire 2020 and you can't recertify but for the new one MCSE the data management and anal analytics this one does not expire but Microsoft uh, encourages you to recertify to regain it and you can regain it by doing one of the, the other exams you can see in the box so if I uh, want to regain it next year I can do the 465 designing database solutions or I can do the 466 implementing data models with reporters reports and Microsoft SQL Server that will mean I get another um, instance of uh, this MCSE for that particular exam that sh should the uh, yeah that should your uh, employer or whatever give the possibility to see that you are specialized in more than just one field and actually it does not expire also it is not bad actually because you get I mean in the end you get a certificate much faster than in the old pass okay and you are, can really make the only uh, you can really finish only those exams that really are interesting to you so for instance the if i'm interesting in 464 and 467 i can do both of them and get credit for it instead of just doing both of them and don't get anything uh, with the old system so this is basically the whole uh, deal about mcsa and mcse certification paths i hope um, you understood and then you learned what what you can do and i can only encourage you to take the uh, to take one of the exams at least because to be honest if you are not that good in uh, the recurring SQL Server the the book that they provide with 461 from Microsoft Press is actually very good I find it a very good book to read so if you want to encourage this and you have any questions Twitter uh, use Twitter or uh, contact me directly use hashtag SQL Server uh, SQL TV or uh, yeah just contact me and I can clarify things also in the comments below, no problem. So thanks for watching and see you next time on SQL TV. Bye. Mm -hmm.